number two seed in the West, so that's a good thing for the Bruins. Yeah, I mean, uh, after those uh, two tough losses uh, we had, uh, I mean, uh, we we weren't expecting to get a number one seed, but uh, we uh, got that uh, two seed in the West and uh, stayed at, stayed at Sacramento and uh, close to home, so we're definitely blessed with that. And right now, Bruins mindset, character, the strength of the Bruins getting ready for the tournament. I mean, it's uh, it's a lot of focus. You know, everybody uh, everybody is ready. I think I can see you can see it right now. I mean, uh, you know, we worry about we would say it on Thursday. You know. Uh, we don't know anything about them right now, but we probably gonna go back to practice, watch films, you know, get to know them a little better. Okay. And I, like Coach Holland said, after the Pac-10 tournament, whoever is in front of you, they will be the victim. Exactly. You know, we just run about the next game right now. Take care of them. Like you said, be a victim. Good to win, but game one at a time. Yeah, it's one game at a time. Everybody has the same goal to win the championship, but you know, we're gonna do it a little bit differently. Our goal is to get better and practice on Monday. We don't take it one day at a time in practice. Allen said Bruins have to be ready Thursday, big game against Weber State. I mean, definitely it doesn't really matter what, uh, what seed you are in this tournament. You just got to win games. That's what it comes down to. So we're, we're going to get prepared for Thursday. The madness has taken over every fan as well as the players and coaching staff. So you guys have to be very proud to be, be representing the Pac-10 again as champions. Uh, I mean, we're, de we're definitely excited. I mean, this is the best part of the year. I mean, we're going to come in. We're, we're going to get ready and practice on Monday. and We're going to have fun. Coaching staff, please, with the, at least the two seed in the West. That was important, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the fact that they kept us on the West is, is a big uh, plus, you know, just because uh, of traveling and because, like, our fans and our support. So it, it, it's, um, you know, we feel pretty confident about, about where we are in the tournament right now. So Alfred Aboya, do you have your dancing shoes ready to go? You know it, you know it, you know, uh, even though we didn't finish the season strong, mm -hmm. you know, uh, we, we, we ready, we ready, we got our shoes on, ready to dance. Okay. S'il vous plaît, mon ami, en français, à Cameroon, all your amigos, family. Por favor. Uh, toujours, toujours, toujours. Uh, c'est le, le moment que la famille attend au pays parce que uh, c'est la seule opportunité qu'ils ont pour pouvoir avoir un hommage. Donc j'espère qu'on ira loin pour qu'ils puissent avoir cette chance-là. We'll go for the big one. The big dance is here. Yeah, you know, this is a new new tournament, a new experience for us. And, uh, we'll try to take our experience from last year, uh, you know, use the value from that and, and apply it towards this year's tournament. Looking at the field and the brackets and uh, Bruins and uh, the coaching staff and Coach Holland happy with that? Uh, you know, I hope so. But, you know, he's the guy that's going to stress one game at a time. So uh, I'm pretty sure he hasn't, hasn't looked at it too extensively. But... Um, you know, the potential is there to play a lot of good teams, but, you know, again, one game at a time. At the end of yesterday after the practice, anything significant, anything symbolic come out of that team, uh, the team effort? Yeah, you know, practice yesterday was very competitive, very intense, and uh, I firmly believe we have the right mindset uh, going into this tournament on, on what it takes to win games. No problem. Good luck, sir. No problem. Okay. Not concerned, but just ready to go back and repeat from last year. Yeah, definitely. Um, our main focus right now is Weaver State. Um, we'll spend the next couple of days preparing for him, or preparing for them, and um, that's just our main focus. We have to come out and win that game. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday's practice, uh, Coach Holland talked about it. You guys experienced it. The difference going in and coming out afterwards. How was the Bruin uh, mentality then afterwards? Um, I think the team's uh, confidence level is very high. I mean, we went and had a great practice. Uh, I think we got everybody on the same page, and I think we'll be okay. Okay, and believing uh, Tuesday to be there in Sacramento, right? Yeah, Sacramento. Should be fun. Uh, before we let you go, Josh, we've been looking at all the players this past season, and uh, even across town, we had to split up our crew so that uh, Rico Jr. and, and uh, Albert can get over there and talk to, to Nick and Gabe because you got to be feeling good. There's so many packed in teams, and especially SE, at least they got in. Yeah, definitely. We feel real good. We got six teams in this year. Just shows how strong our conference is. Good luck to you, Josh. Right, okay, see you for a second.